quick tutorial on how to use the VS Code debugger with the Redwood API side. So let me set up the scene first. I have my project here um, where I'm listing a list of blog posts, and it has the author name just under the title. Now, when I go and add a new post, and I go back to the home screen, the title comes through, the body comes through, but the author name never does. So the first step I would normally do is to quickly open up my network debugger and just see if it coming back, if it's coming back with the author name. It looks like uh, author name is not. So what we can do is it looks like something's wrong on the API side. So let's try and attach a debugger and see where we can um, find the issue. So let's have, head over to the code. Uh, what I do know is that uh, the, it's likely a problem in the post service. So let's head over to the post service because that's where we're listing things. Let's first take a look at if, if the post that we have uh, contains the author name in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this function slightly just so that I can attach a debugger. I find it a little bit easier to do it when uh, you have a variable here. So I simply put the breakpoint there, go to the debugger menu, attach API debugger, and remember that I already have the dev server running and you can see it says the debugger attached. So let's go over and refresh and it will stop execution um, when it hits this breakpoint. So it looks like post is undefined here and that's probably because um, it just hasn't run that code just yet. So I did a step through, and we can see here in the new post, author name is still blank. Um, so it looks like something's going wrong in the create step rather than um, the list post step. So let's remove this breakpoint. Break let's finish execution here. And this time, I'm going to put a breakpoint here to see what the author name is that I get back. And what this function should do is it should get my name as the current user that I'm signed in, um, and it should get the name. So let's go and create a new post. And it stopped execution there. And you can see that author name is undefined. And this is very likely our problem. So let's take a quick peek as to what the issue is. We'll let it go through. So you can see that there's a TypeScript error here already telling me that current user dot name doesn't exist. So that probably means I need to go have a look at my get current user function and see if I'm getting the name from, from that function. And you can see here, it's very clearly um, when we're looking up the user on the DB, we're not asking for the name. So that's why it doesn't come through. TypeScript stops complaining, and if we go back here, what we should see now, after we create a new post, is author name comes through with my name. Awesome. So let's let it go through, go back to the home page, and you can see that my fix has worked. 